Thank you for joining us. This is part three of our teaching that we're doing on the name of the Mashiach. As far as if we, if it's the suffix of Shua or Shah that we should be using, and we left off in our we discussed in our last session about the name. Uh, first of all, the name could not have been, or the Mashiach's name could not have been Yeshua, which most people, most Messianic believers use the use that term to address the Mashiach, but that name is not Hebrew. You will not find it uh, in a Hebrew lexicon uh, as far as being a proper name. It is, I say, a Hebrew word uh, which means they cry. We, we talked about in our last session in Psalm chapter 18 verse 41 you'll find that King David used the word they cried and the Hebrew word that he used was Yeshua. If you look that up you'll, get, you'll be able to verify that. So it's not a proper name uh, the and it definitely was not a name that was uh, not a proper Hebrew name. Let me put it that way. Um, it was uh, Yeshua is a uh, Aramaic uh, word or name uh, that was used shortened uh, from the uh, Joshua, who you know is Joshua, the son of Nun. His name was changed uh, throughout the Scripture uh, after the Babylonian captivity. Uh, you see the name being changed and shortened, uh, and um, but the Mashiach's name is, is you never see the 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 word Yeshua attached to the Mashiach's name. I mean, to identi being identified with the Mashiach anywhere in Scripture, you you will find Yahusha as the name that was given by uh, by Yahuwah in Zechariah chapter six, verse eleven and twelve, that the 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 that the um, it was a foreshadowing of the the uh, talking about the the high priest Yehushadek, which we talked about as being translated as Yahuwah is our righteousness. He is the son of Yehushadek. Well, who does that sound like? I mean, that, that's talking about the Mashiach. That's talking about the Messiah. And it's, and and if you look this up, you'll find that it is spelled with five letters. Now, you the only way you'll find it spelled with six letters. Is by means of the vowel pointing, which changes it to Yahushua. But the, the name that's given and the name that's without the vowel points is Yahusha. And so, uh, and in fact, you know, we've talked about this that you, you only find uh, two places in in the in this in the scriptures where the where Yahushua is being used, and you'll find the uh, word Yahusha over 216 times throughout the Tanakh. And uh, of course, that's most of the times is making reference to the son of Nun, because the son of Nun, Joshua, who you know is Joshua, and the Mashiach had the same name, Yahusha. And uh, we talked about in our first teaching how the uh, that Joshua or Yahusha's name uh, was changed originally was Husha, and it was not Hushua, it was Husha. You can look this up in Numbers chapter 13, verse 16, to verify that uh, the original name, and it was changed by Moses or Masha uh, to Yahusha, and he did it by adding the first letter of the Creator's name, the letter Yod, and so uh, even with that. But keep in mind, you know, when we talk about this, um, you know, because people relate that they know that the, the son of Nun. Joshua the son of Nun and the Mashiach had the same Hebrew name. Uh, they get it confused um, because you know they they see where that Joshua's name was say shortened to Yeshua, and thinking that that's okay then to call the Mashiach Yeshua. But see that's not pure Hebrew; it's Aramaic, and it's not even a, a proper Hebrew name. And we talked about in Acts chapter 26. We read this last week or last session about on the road to Damascus, the Apostle Paul was confronted by the Mashiach and he said that the Mashiach spoke to him and, and you know it's very interesting that that would just be included that he said that the Mashiach spoke to him in the Hebrew tongue or the Hebrew language. Uh, why even mention that unless it was important for us to understand that when that he, when he, the Mashiach gave his name because Paul or Shoal said who are you? And then our English translation it says, I am Jesus who you persecute. But we know that that's not the Mashiach's name. He actually spoke to him in Hebrew. 
and he had to have said Yahusha was his name being that Yahusha is Hebrew and not Yeshua so now one thing that confuses a lot of people is because um, when you look up in your concordance the um, you know if you look up first of all if you look up the word G or the name Jesus in your concordance it's going to uh, give you the the Greek uh, letter Greek uh, G2424 and then when you look that up it's going to tell you that it's uh, it comes from the Greek word Jesus the Latin word is uh, Jesus uh, originally in the King James that's the way it read it was actually would it have to have been pronounced Jesus because it wasn't spelled with a J it was spelled with an I and it's spelled I-E-S-V-S or I-E-S-U-S is the way it's spelled in the original King James 1611 Bible. So it had to be pronounced Jesus because that's the only way that you could have, you could have uh, said his name. Well, we know that the Creator didn't give the Mashiach a name as a Latin name, Jesus, nor would he have given him a Greek name, Iesus. So, but if you look this up, it's going to, t it's going to refer you that the, this name is originated in Hebrew. And the Hebrew name, uh, they're going to get number they're going to give you is Hebrew number three zero nine one, which is going to when you look that up, it's now here's something you need to, to really understand because this is where a vast amount of confusion has taken place. Strong's concordance uh, translated uh, the scriptures, or you know, and he, all his uh, translations and uh, uh, that he uses even the transliteration of words. Uh, is based on the Masoretic text, meaning the vowel points, and that's what it, he used in his translations. Being that we understand that the Masoretic text um, was corrupted as far as being able to change in the way that names were pronounced, we know that our Creator's name, if you look up the Creator's name, it will give two or three different variations of how to pronounce his name. And that's because they use different vowel points to change uh, the way the name would be pronounced. Well, the same thing has happened with the Mashiach or the Messiah's name. Now, when you look up, uh, again, it'll refer you to the Hebrew number 3091, which is, it'll tell you that it's, it's Yahushua. And, but here's something you really need to look at. It tells you the etymology of this name, in other words, where it came from, the root of it is from Hebrew number 3068, which is, that's Yahuwah's name. 3068 is the Hebrew numbers that you would look up to find uh, Yahuwah's name. And then it says, and 3467, which is the Hebrew word Yasha. It doesn't say Shua. It says Yasha. Why? You know, why even a, a third grader could figure this out, that when you put Yahuwah and Yasha together you get Yahusha not Yahushua because the Hebrew number here 3467 is the Hebrew word for salvation not Shua. Shua has a different Hebrew number it's 7768 7769 which means uh, to cry out uh, it also has a meaning of wealth or riches um, but predominantly, it's mainly used for the word of to cry out, is what the word shua means. Now, it also, it's been vowel pointed to also mean the word vain. You'll find this in Exodus chapter 20, verse 7, in the third commandment, where it says that we're not to take the Creator's name in vain. The English translation says vain. But the Hebrew word is, is, is vowel pointed to, to sound shava. But it actually spell is spelled Shua the same way that uh, you would spell Shua with uh, a shin, uh, I, a shin ua, and a ayin. That's how you would spell it, and that's how it's spelled. It's actually spelled with shin, I, uh, excuse me, shin ua, and uh, it uses instead of ayin, it uses the the aleph for the uh, shava part here. But it, it still would be pronounced as Shua, and um, so that's one of the meanings, really, of the word Shua uh, would be vain as well. It actually means to 
you know, when it, when Yahuwah said, don't take my name in vain, the word actually translated to, it would be to mean desolate. It also means to falsify. In other words, don't, don't misrepresent my name. Don't falsify. That's a, a, a commandment that's been broken how many times when you think about how that the Creator's name has been substituted with the word Lord. Well, that makes it desolate. We don't, we don't, we don't recognize it. We don't, um, we treat it as, uh, you know, is, is, that it doesn't bear the importance that it should. And that's taking his name in vain. Uh, but going back to this right here, and then we're going to stop here and, and pick a, pick back up on our next session. But the uh, going back to, to the word here is going to give you, from the Strong's Concordance, from the name Jesus, it's going to refer you back to, to let you know that it, it originated, or in other words, it, its original name. You know, and this is something that's crazy, is why did they change the name in the first place? And, you know, why didn't they, they didn't, you, didn't have, you did not have to go into Greek and Latin to, it, in English to get to the, the, the Mashiach's name. It's a Hebrew name, but you can use English letters to make the sound. The Yahusha. Let me show you here. Um, okay. If you can see this, this is the letters Yahusha. That's how you pronounce these letters right here that are in Hebrew. This is your modern Hebrew script here. This is the first three letters. And by the way, Hebrew reads from right, right to left, opposite of the way English does. But from right to left, these first three letters is the Yad, the He, or the Ha, and the Ua. I call it U. Um, in modern Hebrew, this letter is referred to as a Wa or a Vav. But it, in ancient Hebrew, there was no V or W sound. It was it was a U sound. We're going to prove this out later and show you more about that. But Yahoo, the le next two letters, the Shin. It looks like a W, but that's those that's actually rep the Shin represents like the teeth. You make the sh sound, and you you know where you, that's how they made that letter to look like your teeth. Um, the Ayin is the last letter. And uh, or Ayin is how it may have been pronounced in, in uh, ancient Hebrew, but Yahusha, it makes the ah sound. Yahusha is how you would say the the uh, Mashiach, the Messiah's name, pronounced as Yahusha, is the way you would pronounce his name. Uh, this is we talked about the original name of uh, Joshua was Husha. That's that's how his name was pronounced. These are the letters that you would find for Joshua's original name before it was changed by Moses in Numbers chapter 13 verse 16. There's the He or the Ha, the Ua or the U, the Shin and the Ayin. You would say it Husha. It's the only difference between here and this this name here and this here is the letter Yod right there at the beginning. It makes the Yah sound so Yahusha. That was Joshua's original name but it wasn't Hushua. It was Husha. So we're going to get more into this, and uh, you know, we're just taking this one step at a time. I know you got a lot of questions. You'll say I've already gotten some some comments and people saying, "Well, what about this? What about that?" You know, I just can't you know deal with everything on, on a short five or ten minute broadcast here. But we'll get to everything, I believe. If not, then we'll just you know continue to uh, send me an, an, a message and let me know. We'll look, if I don't know, we'll just pray about it and seek seek Yahoo about it. Um, so I enjoyed our time together. This is a blessed, nice, prosperous day out here. It's about 72 degrees. Uh, however, the weather's going to change quite a bit in the next day or two, they say. But uh, while we have this good weather, I like to do the recordings outside. And uh, so thank you for our time together. I hope you're being blessed. Let me know that you are. If you are, if you're enjoying these, please let me know. Uh, let me know your your understanding things. If you if you have a question, let me know. I'll try to answer them. Sometimes I can't get to you right away because I'm trying to. If I stopped and answered every question, then I couldn't stay focused on what I need to really bring out. And you'll find I probably would answer your question if you just stay with us and listen to the next teachings that we have coming up. So I love you. Yahuwah loves you. And uh, till next time, shalom.